Hey guys, what's going on? I have a review comparison here between the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the S4. Both phones are with Verizon Wireless 4G network. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the S4 first. So here on the side we have the volume rocker right here. Uh, microphone right here. USB port. We have the home button right here. Uh, on the top we have the light sensors and uh, front facing camera here on this side we have the power button then on the back we have the 30 megapixel rear camera with flash and the speaker for now so here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 we have the volume rocker also on the left side the home button right here and as you can see the home button on the Note 2 has a Verizon logo the S4 doesn't have the logo uh, the mi a microphone right here USB port the S Pen right here then on the other side also the power button uh, on top we have a microphone and the 3.5 millimeter audio jack the rear Emia pixel camera with the flash and the speakerphone so let's go ahead and Take a look at some of the specs. Alright, so as far as the specs on the S4, uh, the phone is 7.9 millimeters uh, thick. Uh, the Note 2 is actually 9.4 millimeter thick. Uh, so on the S4, we have a um, display uh, with a resolution of uh, 1080 by 1920, 5.0 uh, inches. 441 ppi pixel density on the Note 2 we have a 720 by 1280 uh, resolution 5.5 inches and 267 ppi pixel density so the the S4 has almost double of the pixels uh, density uh, as far as the S4 and the processor we have a uh, the phone comes in a uh, internal 16 gig 32 and 64 with 2 gig of RAM uh, the micro SD card supports up to 64 the camera like I said is a 13 megapixel rear camera uh, the front facing camera it's a 2 megapixel you can do uh, 1080p video with the front facing camera also at 30 frames per second uh, as far as the processor is a quad core uh, quad core 1.6 uh, Cortex uh, the battery is 2600 milliamp battery as far as the Note 2 uh, it uh, supports up to 64 gig uh, micro SD card and it comes in 16, 32 and 64 gigabyte storage with 2 gig of RAM uh, the camera, it's a rear camera is 8 megapixel uh, as far as the processor is a quad core 1.6 and as far as the battery it's a 3100 milliamp battery so those are the specs alright guys so now we're doing a quadrant test and let's uh, take a look at the results and see which uh, phones uh, score better okay so we have here the results let's start with the Note 2 so the Note 2 scored 68.75 68.75 which is a really really good score for this phone now the S4 scored 12,405 12,405 that's pretty much double or almost double of the points in comparison to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 so as you can see the processor on the S4 it's absolutely way more faster than the Note 2 alright guys so let's go ahead and open the, the Google Chrome both phones are connected to the same uh, uh, Wi-Fi and uh, let's go ahead and open different pages uh, let's start here with CNN here we go so as you can see the Note 2 opening the page faster let's go ahead and open another one 
uh, let's do Yahoo actually let's use a boy search Yahoo here we go and then how to open the page a little bit faster uh, let's do one more this page is really really loaded with a lot of galleries so uh, they pretty much open the page at the same time let's go ahead and open uh, this gallery right here let's go ahead and open the galleries Let's go ahead and zoom in. So I don't know if you guys can tell. I think it's uh, easy to see that the resolution on the H4 it's uh, better of course it's a 1080p display. You can see more definition, better colors on the picture in comparison with the Note 2 so that was the browser so here's uh, Facebook let's go ahead and open this picture so as you guys can see because of the screen size this is as much as you can zoom in with the S4. Look at in comparison with the Note 2. You can zoom in way more, a bit, make a, the picture way more bigger um, than the S4. So you can take advantage there of the big screen. That's all you get with the S4. So that's Facebook. Here's the Play Store. Here's Yahoo Mail. Here's a text message. So that's a text message. Here's the weather. All right, guys. So here's a sample of a picture that the same picture that was taken with uh, both phones. So here's the Note 2. This is 8 megapixel resolution. Here's another picture. Here's the same picture with the S4. Alright guys, so this is a sample in 1080p, same video with both phones, so here we go. Alright guys, so here's how the dialer looks like and I have a, um, 
application that I'm using for my dialer but just to give you an idea in terms of resolution of the screens and size um, they're both uh, fully functional so that's the dialer Alright guys, so now let's open YouTube and do a 1080p video sample. Right guys, so here's the same video on both phones. This is a video that I put on YouTube and it's in 1080 resolution. I don't know if you guys can notice the difference in terms of the, the, the resolution on the S4. It looks more clear, better colors. Of course, you know, we can appreciate also the bigger screen on the Note 2. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Alright guys, so now I'm going to play a video that has music in the background so you guys can hear this, the quality of the speakers. Uh, I'm going to start first with the S4. Okay, that was uh, the speaker sound on the S4, here's the Note 2. I don't know if it's me guys, but I kind of feel like the Note 2 has a little bit of a louder sound. So that's a, that was the sound on both phones. Alright, so now we have here the camera interface on both phones. Um, sorry about that. Here's the S4. And uh, as you can see, here's the Note 2. Uh, so we get presented here with uh, a bottom here for video and camera. Uh, on the Note 2, you can basically, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can basically switch uh, between camera and video camera right here. With the S4, you basically press one or the other. The one thing I don't like about this option is that if you press on the video one, it will start recording right away as you can see here on the corner it's recording right away um, so anyway so you can pause you can continue recording and then you can stop uh, the pause option as far as video camera it's one of my favorite features and I believe only the, the Samsung phones uh, have that feature available here's a Note 2 with the recording you pause it, keep recording, and then you stop. As far as the pictures, um, actually let me go back to the recording. Uh, so here are a bunch of different features that comes with the camera in terms of the, the uh, recording for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It will take probably another video to just review the cameras but there are a lot of different options and different effects that you can add 
Uh, so that was uh, that's the interface of the video camera on the Note 2. Here's the interface on the on the S4. So we get here to settings. We get different settings here on top. So you get all these settings here, you can change the, the photo size, uh, burst shot, face detection. Here's for the video camera. Now as far as the camera, here are the uh, different ones that you get. And then some of these effects also works with the video camera. So anyways, that's uh, the interface on both uh, cameras, the S4 and the Note 2. So let's take a picture here quick and see how fast it takes the pictures. So as you can see, it takes the pictures very, very fast. I believe it's faster than the Note 2. Let's do the same thing with the Note 2. And let's actually cancel the flash. So apparently both phones are uh, very quick when it when it comes to taking pictures so that was as far as the camera and taking the pictures all right guys so let's test a uh, Google search what's the weather like it's 24 degrees and overcast in Bellevue what's the weather like it's 76 degrees and overcast in Bellevue. What's the weather like in Panama? It's, it's 90 degrees, degrees and clear in Panama. Panama. So apparently I have the wrong uh, metric set up for the weather on the S S4. Uh, let's do one more thing. Walmart. Alright, so that was a Google search. So here's another feature of Google search. Call Eric Cano. Text Julian Avila. Navigate to Miami, Florida. Navigating to Miami, Florida. Head west on Comstock Avenue towards South 36th Street. So as you guys can see, it took a, it's In taking a little feet, longer for turn the... Turn right onto South 36th Street. It's taking a little longer for the S4, probably because it's the first time and it's uh, calculating the, the address, but as far as the S uh, or Google search, it works fine. Let's take a look at maps. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's 
so they work pretty good. Let's take a look quick at the front facing camera. Alright guys, so here is a high definition video. I'm sure you're gonna like same video on both phones. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see or notice the difference in terms of resolution with the S4 compared with the Note 2. Uh, again, you know, we can appreciate a lot the bigger screen on the Galaxy Note 2. So that was a quick sample, guys, of the 1080p video. Here's the viewing angles on the S. Uh, I'm sorry, the Note 2. Absolutely amazing viewing angles. Here's the S4. Alright guys, so now I'm going to conclude the review here. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe. And I'm going to put at the end of this video a couple of uh, samples, pictures of uh, both the S4 and the Note 2. And also a couple of uh, 1080p uh, videos taken outside. Uh, I hope you like the, re the review. Thanks for watching, guys.